You are about listening to Family Prayer Time with God's servant, Nana Sayopoku Sakodia. Your turning point. God bless you and stay with us. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Father, we give you thanks. We worship you. We bless your holy name. Thank you for your goodness and your mercy. Well, once again, God bless you for coming. If you just come online, God will bless you. Just share the message and connect another person online. And um, you have friends on your Facebook, YouTube. Connect somebody to the, uh, the link and then make sure that by the grace of God, they are online. Hallelujah to Jesus. So we bless God. And don't forget, if you have not prepared your communion, just do that because we will be able to um, take the communion right after the, this powerful prayer encounter. We are going to do that. And it's going to be a blessing. Hallelujah. Praise God forevermore. What a privilege and opportunity for us to stand together in prayer. Um, like I keep saying that every day in prayer is every day in triumph and every day in victory before the Lord. The power is in the prayer. I mean, a prayerful Christian is a powerful Christian. Once you become prayerful, one of the things that you cannot afford to miss is that you have to ask the Lord to give you the grace to be prayerful. And you don't learn how to pray by reading. You learn how to pray by praying. And that is why I really want you to make sure that you connect your family members to this one. Today we are going to pray. As we go into the family life prayer time, I'm going to, I'm going to release a lot of scriptures and as it comes to my spirit. Hallelujah. Because um, the, 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 when John was locked up in the island of Patmos in the book of uh, he wrote, Apostle John, who wrote the book of Revelation, he said something. He said that um, this is the confidence that we have in him. He said it in First John, that if we ask anything according to his will, he hears us. According to his will means that the prayer is standing on authority of God's word. And so if you are going to, God is not an obligation to answer you because you are crying. If you cry, it must be based on God's word. For instance, you hear scriptures in the book of Exodus like, and the Lord told Moses that I've heard the cry of my children in Israel. And the reason for that cry is that he has promised Abraham that your descendants will be in slavery for 400 years. And after that, I'll bring them out. So the cry is based on God's promises. The fact that after a certain point, we have to come out of the slavery. So don't just pray for praying sake and don't just pray. Sometimes we have to make sure that we are not doing things based on emotions because God is not an obligation to uh, respond to cry because it's on em under emotion. That is why I say what moves God is faith. Cry doesn't move God. Murmuring doesn't move God. Complaints doesn't move God. It is faith. And faith is an expression of confidence in God and his word. So the prayer God will answer is a prayer that is based on authority of God's word. And we have to come to the place for that conviction that the prayer I'm praying, God will answer it because it is based on the authority of his word. So today we are going to deal with, um, what do we call it? Where we left off last time, prayers for blessings and favor. And these are the things. And I'm going to go to, um, 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 what do we call it? What can generate the blessings of God? One of the things that generate the blessings of God is the presence of God. Don't, don't make no mistake about it. You see, we are doing a lot of things outside God's presence. And that is probably the reason for a lot of our struggle. Man of God, don't preach the gospel without the presence of God. Child of God, don't do business without the presence of God. I will give you a scripture. It's in the book of 2 Samuel chapter 6. When we read verse number 11, 2 Samuel chapter 6 and verse number 11, it talks about Obedidom, that the Bible said um, the ark was moved into his house. And listen, the Bible said, and the ark of the Lord continued in the house of Obedidom, the Gittite, for three months. Three months. That is about 90 days thereabout. Maybe a little about. Three months. And the Lord blessed Obedidom and all his household. For the, so the ark is the symbol of God's presence. The ark is the symbol of God's presence. The ark is the symbol of God's presence. And because the presence of the Lord came to Obedidom's house, and Obedidom acknowledged the presence, the Bible said, and God 
bless the house of Obedido. So, honey, if God is going to bless you, we must generate presence. That means that the presence of God must be in your ministry. The presence must be in your business. The presence must be with your children at school. The presence must be with your home. In America, you must carry God's presence wherever you go. Uh, uh, I mean, in Europe, in Ghana, wherever you are, you must walk with the presence of God. You remember the scripture, the Bible says Jesus was preaching and teaching and the presence of God was there to heal. So what was healing was the presence. That is why sometimes you cannot just be in the house and every time just listening to only Facebook and YouTube. I believe in that but sometimes you have to carry your body to god's presence you have to go to church the bible said forsake not the assemblies of your garden when we gather in church what happened he said we have come to mount zion so in the spirit realm church is not church; it's zion we have come to the city of god it's not just so when we gather in church, no matter how small the church is is a city in the spirit of god in the spirit realm we have come to the heavenly jerusalem that is the way god calls it he said we are worshiping with innumerable company of angels god cannot lie if that is what god is saying that that is what happened where we gather so when we are in our homes and we don't go to church eh, the bible says they grow from strength to strength those who appear before the lord in zion and, and that is why those of you listening to from america you have to find your way to be there because the presence the atmosphere that generate the bible said they go from strength to strength those who appear before the lord in zion so there is in the presence of god your weakness dies in the presence of God, there is certain weakness in the body, weakness in the soul, weakness in your emotions, and that is where God killed those weakness. So it's important as I'm preaching today and as we are praying on the family life prayer line, may the presence of God be generated in your home. That means that once you are praying, be sensitive to feel the presence of God. And if you are there, we are connected, you can feel it. The Bible says, and the ark of the Lord continue. So there must be a continuous presence around you, continuation of the presence. You don't have a takada today i heard a man of god of blessed memory dr mas moro said that, that he said that don't stay where god used to be it hit me like hammer don't stay where god used to be it means that if god has moved from the place move that means that if there is a place and there is no presence there that means that if god, that is why that is why Samson took the jawbone of an axe and killed thousands of soldiers and threw it away. If it's our generation, we we'll worship it. Because sometimes what worked for you yesterday cannot work for you tomorrow. You need a new presence to generate it. May you not live on an old anointing. May you have a new and a fresh anointing on your life. That, that is why if you're a man of God listening to me, the anointing on your life must not only be there, it must be fresh. It's one thing to carry the anointing. It's, anointing, it's another thing for the anointing to be fresh. Fresh or you generate fresh blessings. And fresh oil generate flesh breakthroughs. So you need that fresh oil over your life. Today, as I'm ministering, as we are praying, may you generate a fresh anointing in your home. Can I tell you this, honey? If the presence come to your home, sickness will leave. Poverty will leave. Affliction will leave. Setback and limitations will leave the house because the presence has come there. I'm telling you, you cannot generate the presence and not generate results. Once the presence comes, results will be, oh my goodness, I'm talking to somebody there. Today we are going to pray and the Bible said, the Bible said, and the ark continue, the ark continue in Obedidom's house. The ark, the ark, the ark continue in Obedidom's house. And because the ark continued there, the presence of the Lord was there. The ark continued in the house of Obedidom. And the ark of the Lord continued in the house of Obedidom. Cancel Obedidom name and put your name there. And the ark, the ark of the Lord continued in Anasai's house. And the ark continued in, uh, 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 mention your name. And the ark continued in some, so the continuation of the presence. Now in the Old Testament, the ark is the symbol of the presence of the Lord. The ark is the symbol of the presence of the Lord because the ark continued over there. The Bible says, and the Lord blessed the house of Obedidom. Today, do you know the prayer point? Lord, a present that generate blessings. Let it descend on my house. Let it come to my family. Let it come to my ministry. Let it come to my household. Lift up your voice in the name of Jesus. Let your presence, let your presence. Maka Dabaya. Randele me katu sayaba. Raka Dabaya. Andele me katoya. Regezedebe andole me kaba. Jobranda la bakaba baraba. Jobrandele me kaba baraba. Andala bakaba. Jokada ba mandele me kaba. Jobrandele me kaba baraba. Jobada ba mandala bakaba. Jobrandele me kaba baraba. Andala bakaba. Jobrandala bakaba baraba. Andala bakaba. Jobrandele me kaba baraba. Lekazo ne be andele me kaba. Jobrandele me kaba ba. 
Makoda by Amandele Bekabam. Pray for the presence of God. Lord, bless me. Lord, bless me. Lord, bless me. Lord, bless me. And cause your face to shine upon me. That in the name of Jesus Christ, Makoda by Makada, your way may be known upon the earth. Oh, Lord, bless me. Let your presence generate blessing. Lord, let your presence, your presence come to my house. We are talking about the presence of God that generates a blessing. Lord, let your presence bless my life. Let your presence bring increase. Let your presence, let your presence. Mazude be andele me kabam, rakada ba ya mandele me kabam, jubrande le me kabam, ba rabanda la ba kabam, rakazude be andele me kabam, jubada ba mandele me kabam, ba rabam. Let your presence, let your presence, moja da ba, rande le me kabam, ba rabam, jokado ba mandele me kabam, jubrande le me kabam, ba rabanda la ba kabam. Let your presence, let your presence, let your presence, generation of your presence. Let your presence be upon my children. Let your presence come upon my ministry. Let your presence come upon my home. Let your presence be with me at the job, at the business. Pray for God's presence. Pray. And the Bible says, and the act of the Lord continue in the house of Obedidon. And the Lord bless. And the Lord bless. The key word for the blessing is the act was there. The key word for the, the act in the Old Testament is the symbol of the presence of God. Whenever the act is there, whenever the presence of God God is blessing will naturally be generated. Oh Jesus, Makababaya, Randele be kabam, Rakazude be andala be kabam, Lekatuya andele be kabos swadabaya. Lord, your presence, Lord, your presence. Let it be upon my home. Let your presence be on my business. You carry the presence of God to that that interview. You must carry the presence of God to that wedding. You must carry the when the presence comes, sickness will leave. I, I pray that the presence of God eliminate disease, sickness, blindness, poverty, setback, limitation, shame and reproach. When the presence enter your womb, you will conceive. Ah, the angel told Mary, the Holy Ghost has come upon you. The power of the highest shall overshadow you. That is the presence. The presence came there and generated Mary. My goodness, somebody is encountering the presence. Lift up your voice. Share the message. Connect somebody online. Do it right now. Do it right now. We are praying for the presence of God, Marco da Bayam, Jobranda la ba kebaba rabam, Marca da Bayam, Marca da Bayam. Today you are about to bring, you are about to bring the cup of blessing. You are about the communion we are going to take today. I call it the cup of blessing. But generate the presence of the Lord and the act of the Lord continue. We are dealing with blessings and favor in the name of Jesus Christ, Marco da Bayam, Reke Zedebe Andolebe Atuye Azaya, Marca Zida Bayam. Lord, let your presence, Lord, let your presence, let your presence, let your presence and the ark of the Lord continue. The obedient blessing, it is a blessing generated by the presence of God. You cannot walk in the obedient blessing unless the presence of God is around you. Generate the blessing, Marco Dabaya. If you be evil, know how to give good gift to your children. How much more shall your heavenly father give the Holy Ghost to them that ask him? Ask God for the presence, ask God for the presence. There is a, your, your office that the presence must be. In the office. Your presence must be in your business. The presence must be in your company. The presence must be with your children. The man of God. The presence of God must be in your service. When you start to pray, the Lord, let your presence be on the service. As I, as, as I stand on the altar, may your presence, may your presence be first. Makoda Bayato Saya. Your presence must be with your children, your business, your company, your office. Oh my goodness. In your car. Somebody in Portus 98.7 FM. Listen to me in your car, the person take a phone and go to Facebook and share the message. YouTube, connect the link to somebody. My goodness, please share the message. Please connect somebody online. We say it right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Share it right now. Share it. Share it. Share it. Share it. Share it. Take your phone and 
connect another person online. Musa Dabaya Mandelebe Kabam. Jubranda Lava Kabam. Raka Dubaya Mandelebe Kabam. Lord, your presence. Lord, your presence. Lord, your presence. Lord, your presence in every area of my life. Lord, your presence. Lord, let the ark come to my house. Let the ark visit my home. Let the ark come to my house. Let the ark of the covenant. Marco Dabaya. Share the message right now. Share it. The reason we share is that we connect other families online. We connect other families to come and pray. Mashoda Baya Mandelebe Kabam. Raka Zodebe Andelebe Kabam. Reka Zoda Baya. Rapandelebe Kabam. Jobranda Laba Kabam. Barabam. Marco Dabaya. Portus 98.7 FM. Global FM 105.3. Spirit FM Kumasi 88.6. Marco 83.6. In the name of Jesus. Anybody under the sound of my voice, the presence of the Lord. Mashoda, but please connect another person online. Raka zada baya tosaya. Jibranda lava keba bara bam. Mokado baya mandele bekam. Jibranda lava keba. And the act continue, Lord. Let your presence continue in my home. Mashado baya mandele bekam. Jibranda lava keba bara bam. Jibranda lava keba. Raka zode be andele bekam. Raka zada baya. Pray with your spirit. Pray with your understanding. Declare. Let your presence be on my children. Let your presence be in my home, my office. There is an office you are operating from. The presence of the Lord must be there because of the enviness and the jealousy. You must be saturated by the presence of God. It is the presence that was surrounding Job. The devil called that presence a head. Have you not made a head around him? That was the supernatural presence of God. Hey, Lord, generation of your present, we release your present into the homes of your people. We release your present. Somebody watching me sick, let the present bring healing. Let the present bring deliverance. I rebuke every infirmity by the generation and the power of your present. Let that man of God receive impartation. Let that up and coming man of God. Let the frustration leave them by your presence. And Jesus was preaching and teaching. And the presence of the Lord. The Bible says, and the ark of the Lord. And the ark of the Lord. It's not the ark of man. The ark of the Lord continue in the house of Obedidom. May the ark continue in your home. May the ark continue. That in the presence came to his house. As I'm praying, people watching me from their home and their cars. The Bible said the ark continue in the house. This time the ark is coming to your house. Pray that the presence of God that brings favor. The presence of God that brings blessing. The presence of God that brings unlimited divine blessing. Oh Jesus. Raka zodebe andelebe kaba. Share the message. I, 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 I want you to connect somebody online. When you share to your Facebook, you connect other people to come online. Oh Jesus, Makoda Baya, Mandelebe Kabam, Jibrandelebe Katuya Makaya, Rakadubaya Andelebe Kabam, Jibrandelebe Kabam, Rakazulebe Yatusaya, Lendelebe Kabam, Barabam, Jibrandelebe Kabam, Lord your presence, Lord your presence, and the ark of the Lord continue, and the ark of the Lord continue, declare that the ark will continue in your heart. Lord, let your ark, let your presence come to my home, and let the presence continue there i don't just want a visitation i want your abiding presence don't just say a visitation a visitation means he comes and goes but abiding presence means he's there Lift your voice and pray. Mokaduya, rendelebe katuya, rakadaba. I see the presence in your home, the presence coming to your car, the presence in your office, the presence in your business. Oh Jesus, mokadaba, rabandelebe kabam, jobranda lava kabam, rakazolebe atosaya, mandelebe kabam, jobranda lava kabam, rabam, jobrandelebe kabam, rakazolebe andelebe kabam, jobranda lava kabam, rabam, rakaz. Zodebeya, lenda lava kebam, jubranda lebe kebam, barabam, mokadoya, andelebe kebam, jubranda lava. Lord, your presence. 
Lord, your glory, Lord, your power, Lord, your presence. Let the heavens be open, O Lord. Mosha Dibaya, Andelebe Kabam, Jubranda Lava Kabam, Mako Dabaya, Mandelebe Kabam, Jubranda Lava Kabam, Radabaya, Psalm 67. Lift up your voice, verse 1 and 2. Lord, bless me, Psalm 67. We are talking about the presence that bring bless, and the Lord bless the house of Ododigom. Obey the now let's go to the blessing. Psalm 67, verse 1. Mako Dabaya, Mandelebe Kabam. God, be merciful unto me. Keep on praying. Be merciful unto us and bless us. And bless us and cause his face to shine upon us. Lift your voice and pray, Lord. Be merciful unto me as your presence come to me. Bless me, Lord. Bless me and cause your face to shine upon me. Verse number two said, Mashoda Baya. Bless me that, my, that thy way may be known upon the earth. Thy saving health among the, all the nations. Verse number three. These are crucial scriptures. Makoda Baya. Let the people praise the oh god let all that bless me lord bless me verse 2 say bless me mashoda by a man let your presence generate blessing. Let your presence generate blessing. Makoda Baya. Jubranda la bakaba bara banda la bakaba. We are about to move to favor right now, but lift your voice and pray. The presence of God must generate two things for you now: the blessings of God and the favor of God. And the act continue in the house of Obedidom. And the Lord blesses us. Psalm 67 verse 1 say, Be merciful unto me and bless us. Bless me just personalize it bless me and cause your face to shine upon me bless us me bless my family bless my husband bless my wife and they are continue let your presence continue oh jesus kadobaya psalm 41 verse 11 marco daba we are stepping into favor now psalm 41 and verse number 11 favor marco daba rakadaba by this i know that thou favorest me because my enemies are not triumph over me. Lift your voice and pray. May your presence call my enemies never to triumph over me. And let the presence bring me favor. Favor. Uncommon divine favor. Marco Shadabaya. Give me the New Living Translation. You can tell this in the New Living Translation. I know you are pleased with me. Marco Dabaya. Another word for favor is pleased with me. Marco Dabaya. For you have not let my enemies triumph over me. Back to King James. In the name of Jesus. By the favor of God, your enemies will never triumph. Those who want to see you and laugh. In the name of Jesus Christ. King James. Marco Dabaya. Mandelebe Kabam. Jebran the king james verse said thou favorest me the king james verse said thou favorest me by this i know that thou favorest me marco dabaya and the reason to become my enemies and so triumph over me your enemies will never triumph over you those who want to see something happen to you and laugh they will see you and bow down their head in shame May the Lord disappoint them. Raka zudebe yato saya. Rika dobaya. Rabanda laba kabam. I know you favor me because my enemies does not triumph over me. Lift your voice and pray that favor. Lord, you favor me. Let your presence bring me favor. Let your presence generate uncommon favor around my life. Marco tapa. Don't forget, we are praying for blessings and favor. Marco tapa. Rabanda lebe kabam. Raka zudebe yato saya. Lenda laba kabam. Raka dobaya. Please share the message. Connect somebody online. God bless you for sharing. And the ark continue. The ark is continuing in your house, but it's generating right now blessings and favor. The ark of the Lord is generating blessings and favor. Let every portarian experience your blessing and your favor. May your favor open the heavens for their documentation. We will not give up on this. I'm in agreement with you. I am not coming out until God put laughter in your mouth. You will you will sing a new song. I say you will dance your dance and sing your song. Makoda Baya Rakandele Bekabam Jobranda Labakabam Rakada. By Amanda Labakabam, you are going to pray that Lord be favorable unto me. Psalm 85 and verse number one. Lord be favorable unto me. Do you know what it means for God to be favorable unto you? Rakazurebe Yatosaya. Lord be favorable unto me. Lord, thou hast been favorable unto thy land. Thou hast brought back the, the captivity of Jacob. Lord be favorable unto me and bring back every captivity. Anything belong to me that has been locked by the enemy. Let it be open right now. 
let the doors of the enemy's hand can be open he must swallow down the blessings lord he must vomit the blessings that he has swallowed thou has been favorable unto thy land lord be favorable unto me in the land where i live lord mashoda baya randa la bakabam reka zodebe yanda la bakabam zobranda la bakabam zobranda la bakabam raka zoda baya toya you are going to pray lord lord grant me life and favor life and favor job chapter 10 verse 12 life and favor life and favor as i lift my voice on this family altar lord grant me life and favor job chapter 10 and verse number 12 mashoda baya rabanda lebe kabam job chapter 10 and verse number 12 mako zedebe andelebe kabam raka zedebe yato saya randa laba keba barabam job randa laba keba barabanda laba kebam job randa lebe kabam raka daba mandelebe kabam job randa laba keba barabanda laba kebam job randa laba kebam job chapter 10 and verse number 12 mako shada baya randa lebe kaba barabam raka zedebe yato saya landa laba keba barabanda laba keba Je branda la bakabam je bada ba mandele be kabam raka zone be andele be kabam je branda la bakabam raka zona ba ya andele be kabam je branda le be kabam ba rabam mokado ba mandele be kabam je branda le be kabam ba rabam la bakabam raka da ba mandala bakabam je branda la bakabam ba rabam la bakabam je branda la bakabam ba rabam mokado ba mandala bakabam je branda le be kabam ba rabam Randa la bakabam, Jobra. That has granted me life and favor. Job chapter ten verse twelve says, "You have granted me life and favor, and that visitation has preserved my spirit." Lift your voice and pray that prayer. Job said, "God granted him life and favor." The reason Job survived is that God granted him life and favor. Lift your voice and pray, Lord, grant me life and favor in Ghana. Grant me life and favor in America. Grant me life and favor in UK. Grant me life and favor in Europe. Grant Grant me whatever you are praying for. Ask the Lord to grant you and your family life and favor. Job said in Job chapter 10, verse 12, Doubt has granted me life and favor. Oh Jesus. Raka Zodebea. Share the message and connect somebody online. If you are listening to me from Portes 98.7 FM and you are in Spirit FM or Global FM, take your phone, go to Facebook and connect somebody online. Mako da baya, raka da baya, randele be kabam, raka zode be yato saya. Thou has granted me life and favor, and thy visitation has preserved my spirit. Have you seen the visitation there? That is the presence of God. That is the presence of God. The visitation in Job chapter ten verse twelve is the present, and he said it has preserved my spirit. It means that your spirit must be preserved. Your spirit man must be preserved. The preservation of your spirit delivers you from depression. It delivers you from oppression. It delivers you from nervous breakdown it delivers you from any kind of any kind of any kind of depression in your spirit doubt has granted me life and favor oh jesus something is coming your home and the act continue and the act continue and the act continue and the act continue and the act of the lord continue may the act i prophesy to anybody under the sound of my voice today may the present come to your home the presence the presence of the lord let it rest in your business let it rest in your company let it rest in your job wherever you are listening to me from today in the name of jesus you are about to bring the cup of blessing if you just join me, prepare your communion. We are about to drink what I call the cup of blessing. Masoda baya, randelebe kaba, rakadaba. We are dealing with presence and favor. Lokada baya, randelebe kaba, baraba, rakadaba ya, mandelebe ya. Job said, Job said, Job said, thou favorite. Job said, you have granted me life. Doubt has granted me life and favor. You have granted me life and favor, and I visitation has preserved my spirit. It. oh my goodness somebody claim this one personally grant me life and favor it means that nothing will kill you nothing will destroy you i speak life into every system of you i speak life into your eyes life into your organs life into your marrows life into your bones john said you have granted me life god is the only one who can grant life the devil came to kill but jesus give life the devil is a killer but jesus is a life giver the thief cometh not but for to kill to and to destroy but jesus i have come that you have life so the devil is a killer but jesus is 
is the giver of life and the bible said god said in job chapter 12 verse 10 thou has granted me life and favor two things were happening there life and favor lift your voice and claim it grant me life and favor please connect somebody online rakadabaya facebook family share it connect somebody online makodabaya radabaya destiny change prayer destiny change masunimi atoka rekezedebe atusaya lendala my lord your presence over the protest family prayer life father prayer time the family life prayer time let your presence rest upon people's home we speak the presence somebody praying from australia somebody praying from ghana somebody praying from the united states your presence your presence has granted me thou has granted me life and favor you need life and you need favor you need life and you need favor you need life and you need favor i speak life and favor I speak life and favor. Anything dead in your body, I command life to come on it now. I speak by the authority invested in me by Jesus Christ. That everything dead around you, life into your financial system, life into your business. We speak life into every area of your life. Lord, life. Lord, life. Lord, life. Rakazide be yato sayam. Mandolo bokabam. Rekazada bayam. Endala bokabam. Rekekekekekeke. Bayuda baye anime at Toya Azia, Rakazude be atosi, Mandule me kabo, Rakazude be atosaya. Generation of your life, Lord, Rakazude be ya, Mandele me kabam, Rakadabaya. Life and favor, life and favor, life and favor. Thy visitation has preserved me. I rebuke everything the devil has touched in your body. I take authority. Somebody listening to me, your organs, your kidney is receiving life right now. Your liver is receiving life right now. I rebuke that sickness. May your blood be pure. May life come into your blood. Jesus said, I have come that you will have life and have him more abundant. I speak life. That woman becoming blind. I rebuke that blindness. I bind that glaucoma. I rebuke that spirit. I come against hypertension. I break the power of sickness. Receive life right now. Marco Dabaya. Lift your voice and pray. Claim it through prayer. The power is in the prayer. The visitation is in the prayer. Somebody, Job said, Thou hast granted me life and favor. You have granted me life and favor. God is granting somebody life and favor right now. Life and favor right now. Moshe Daba, Randelebe Kabam, Jobranda Laba Kabam, Rakazurebe Yato Sayam, Lenda Laba Kabam, Barabam, Jobranda Lebe Kabam, Rakazurebe Yato Sayam, Mandelebe Kabam, Barabam, Mako Daba Mandelebe Kabam, Rakazurebe Atoya Andelebe Kabam. Lord, life and favor. Lord, life and favor. All life and favor. Radabam, Jobranda Laba Kabam. Lift your voice and pray the prayer. Say, Lord, in your favor, let my mountain stand strong. Psalm 30, verse 7. Psalm 30, verse 7. In your favor, my mountain must stand strong. In your favor, Psalm 30, and verse number 7. Psalm 30, and verse number 7. Psalm 3, 0, verse 7. Moshe do by a mandelebe kabam, rakada by a mandelebe kabam, maka Lord, Lord, by thy favor, thou hast made my mountain to stand strong. Lift your voice and pray, say, Lord, by your favor, let my mountain stand strong. That is your mountain, that is your defense system, your defense mechanism, your immune system. What protects you? The hedge around you, the, the mountain, the mountain, the Bible said, as the mountains are run about Jerusalem, so the Lord is run about the children. The mountain is a sign of your defense system. And David prayed, say, Lord, by thy favor, thou hast made my mountain to stand strong. Thou didst hide thy face. Thou didst not, thou didst hide thy face. And I was troubled. My God, let my favor, let my mountain, by thy favor, make my mountain stand strong. My God, don't hide your face from me lord let my mountain stand strong by your favor there is a favor that causes your mountain to stand strong we are dealing with blessings and favor we are dealing with blessings and favor we are dealing with blessings and favor oh marco daba please share the message please connect somebody online facebook family you are not sharing please share it god bless anybody that is sharing if somebody come online because of you 
the lord give you favor and blessing that means you are not selfish you are selfless you are connected nobody can hear the gospel until another person tell them nobody can pray there are people becoming weak in prayer they cannot pray alone in their home that is why god move us to do what we are doing lift up your voice and pray by your favor let my mind make my mountain to stand strong makada by amanda laba kebam zubranda laba kebam randa laba kebaba rabanda laba kebam zubada ba zubranda laba kebaba rabanda laba kebam lift your voice and pray lord let your favor cause my home to be exalted psalm 87 psalm 89 verse 17 let your favor cause my home to be exalted let your favor cause my home to be exalted psalm 89 and verse number 17 let your favor cause my home to be exalted for thou art the glory and thou art thou art the glory of thy strength and in thy favor our home shall be exalted in thy favor cause my home to be exalted in thy favor our home shall be exalted in thy favor thou art the glory of thy strength thou art the glory of my strength in thy favor our horn shall be exalted lift your voice and pray lord i speak right now as i pray in the name of jesus in the united states my my horns shall be exalted by your favor in uk my horns shall be exalted what is a horn it's an engine oil that come upon your life david said my horns shall not be exalted like the horn of a unicorn i shall be exalted with fresh oil david was anointed with a horn he said fill thy horn with oil and go to jesse's house for thou art the glory of thy strength and in thy favor everybody shame especially all the potter's family say it any potterian anybody who call yourself potterian say this one connect somebody online my horns shall be exalted in thy favor oh lord for thou art the glory of thy strength for thou art the glory in thy in favor our horns shall be exalted personalize the lord in thy favor my horns shall be exalted in thy favor my horns shall be exalted in thy favor Makoda Bayam, Rakada Bayam, my horns shall be exalted in thy favor. My horns shall be exalted in thy favor. Randa Labakaba, Bara Banda Labakaba, Jobranda Labakaba, Rakada Bayam, Makoda Bayam. Pray this prayer from the depth of your heart. Pray very serious. Say, Lord, this is my set time for favor. My set time for favor. Psalm 102, verse 13. Right now, right now, you must receive favor right now. There is something you must specifically type. Type that thing on Facebook right now. This is my set time for favor. Thou shalt arise and have mercy upon Zion for the time to favor her. That set time. That set time has come. So set time for your favor, man of God. Set time for you to get favor for your property. Favor for your new auditorium. Favor for that construction. Favor for that expansion. Favor to finish that project. Favor to buy that house. Let me tell you something. You will pay that house without knowing. You will pay the mortgage before the time. Favor will let you pay the mortgage before the time. You will pay that mortgage. Now pray. Lord, this is my set time for favor. Favor to conceive. Favor to conceive that twins. Favor for expansion of my business. Favor to receive my documentation. Set time of favor. Lift your voice and pray. If you have not shared, you have not tried. Make sure you share the message to somebody. Connect somebody online. Connect the link and say it to your 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 hosa. Marco Dabaya. Randelebe Katoya. Rakazonebe Yatosaya. Paye. No shadabaya, rapandelebe kabam, rakazo debe yatosaya, mandelebe am, makoda. Let your voice and pray the blood. Lord, this is my set time for favor. This is my set time for favor. This is my set time for favor. What exactly do you want God to favor you? What exactly do you want your set time favor to bring him? Is it your documentation? This is a set time. In 48 hours, you get news. In 48 hours, I see the male man. I can my eyes just open. I see a male man driving a male car and dropping something in your mail. It's going to happen in 72 hours. Somebody under the sound of my voice. There is something going to happen 72 hours. Between the next 24 to 72 hours, there's going to be a lot of miraculous favor. Angels are going to pick up documentation and change it. This one is not a human being, an angel of the Lord is going to bring that thing. Something is going to be reversed in the name of Jesus. Makazadabaya. My set 
time of favor my set time of favor to build my set time of favor to raise that company my set time of favor for that job my set time of favor my goodness Marco Shadabaya the Lord will give his people testimonies somebody is getting a testimony share the message connect somebody online set time for favor set time set time set time Raka Zadabaya Rabandelebe Kabam Roka Zodebe Atosaya Lendala Bakaba Barabam Lift up your voice Please share the mercy Connect somebody online Do it right now Marco Shadabaya God bless you for sharing God bless you for coming online Mokadabaya This is my set time for favor Set time Set time Set time Type that in and mention it My set time my set time for favor for my documentation set time for favor for my new contract set time for favor for promotion in the office set time for favor for my healing and deliverance set time for favor for expansion set time for favor for expansion for the porter's family lord the porterians expand them enlarge them lord increase them set time for favor Marco Shadabaya, Randa Lava Kebam, Jubranda Lava Kebaba, Rabanda Lava Kebam, Jubranda Lava Kebam, Jubranda Lava Kebaba, Rabam, Randa Lava Kebam, Jubranda Lava Kebaba, Rabanda Lava Kebam, Jubranda Lava Kebaba, Rabam, Rakadabaya, Makadabaya. In Psalm 106 and verse number 4, God brought his children favor. You are going to pray the Lord, remember me and bring me that favor. Psalm 106 and verse number 4, my goodness, remember me, O Lord with the favor that thou bearest unto thy people with the favor that thou bearest oh visit me with thy salvation visit me with thy deliverance at the hebrew word for salvation is deliverance to travel and say lord remember me oh lord with the favor that thou brought to your children that means that when god went to egypt it was favor that brought them out Tell God that favor must bring you out of every bondage, every financial hardship, every setback and limitation. Favor must bring you out. You are coming out by favor. Favor can give you deliverance. Favor can change your financial stand. In the name of Jesus Christ, remember me. Pray that prayer. Remember me. Remember, what do you mean by remember me? To remember means that God come on your case. That means that God is on your case now. When God remember you, he's on your case. When the Lord remembered Hannah, he got conceived. When the Lord remembered Sarah, he conceived. Lord, remember me. It's a prayer of remembrance. Remember me with the favor that thou bearest unto thy people. Go to the New Living Translation. Let me see something. Marco I see the presence coming your home. Obey the dumb. Remember me. Remember me, Lord. When thou show favor to your people. Yes. When you show favor to your people, remember me. Come near and rescue me. Remember. Remember. When we say remember, it means that right now God is on your case. God is on your case. Israel was in Egypt for 400 years, but one day God remembered them. He told Moses, I have heard the cry. So that day, the day Moses went to Egypt, God has remembered them. God has remembered. Today, God is remembering you right now. God is remembering you right now. Pray that prayer. Lord, did you remember it? It is in the scripture. So you can stand on the authority of God's word. You remember Hannah. You remember Sarah. You remember Abraham. It is my time to be remembered. Remember me, Lord. In the United States, remember me. In South America, remember me in Central America remember me in the United Kingdom remember me when God remember you'll be healed when God remember you'll be delivered when God remember you things will change pray this prayer from your heart pray a heartfelt prayer please share the message please connect somebody online please link it to somebody right now Maka, tell a friend to tell a friend tell a friend Portes 98.7 anybody listening to me from Portes, take your phone i want you to see my face when you are taking the communion in the next few minutes you are going to take communion go to facebook or youtube connect them so that you can see my face i'm going to demonstrate something and you need to see my take your phone and say it Moka Dobaya Mandele Bekaba Rakazude Beato Saya Lenda Labakaba Hey Mako Sedebea Lord remember me Lord remember me Lord remember my ministry Remember my wife Remember my husband Remember my children Remember my sons Remember my daughters Remember there is somebody God must remember your husband Honey Your husband is going wayward Your husband is out of out of control now Pray that God remember him Pray pray Type your name. Don't type your husband. Just type that. Lord, remember my husband. There is somebody God must remember your son. He is going out of. He is going wayward. Something I command that vagabond spirit to leave him. I rebuke.
their spirit in the name of Jesus. Rakazanabaya, Randelebe Kabam, Rapalabam, Rabandelebe Kabam, Jubrandelebe Katuya, Rekazodebe Atosaya, Mandelebe Kabam, Mokatopaya. Remember me, remember me when thou show favor to your people. Remember me when thou show favor. Oh Lord, when thou show favor. The King James Version say, Remember me, Lord. Remember me, remember me, Lord, with the favor that thou bearest or thou show to thy people. Oh Jesus somebody must be remembered in the united states you have suffered too much in this country somebody must be remembered in the united kingdom you have suffered too much in that country lord remember me and show me the favor you show others in the bible you show abraham favor you show daniel favor you show joseph favor lord remember me marco shadabaya rabandelebe kabam rakazodebe yatosaya Pray of remember long randala bakaba para bandala bakaba jobada ba randala bakaba randala bakaba para bandala bakaba jobada ba randala bakaba makada ba mandele bakaba rakada lord with the favor remember me lord remember me and visit me bless me lord favor me change my story makoda ba rakada ba randele bakaba para ba jobranda la bakaba randa la bakke ba ba ra banda la bakke ba je branda la bakke ba ba ra banda la bakke ba je branda la bakke ba moka do ba je branda la bakke ba in genesis chapter 29 verse 17 the bible said that and the beauty of the lord came and the man was well favored genesis chapter 29 and verse number 17 moka da ba and leah was tender eye but rachel was beautiful and well favored pray that you'll be well favored like rachel Pray that you'll be well favored. The Bible says you was well favored. Marco Shadabaya. Randelebe Kabam. Let me be beautiful and well favored. Rachel was beautiful and well. Lift your voice and pray like Rachel. Lord, let me be beautiful and well favored. That beauty I'm talking is not makeups. That beauty I'm talking is not shiny of It's a spiritual beauty. It's a supernatural one. It's another word from common favor. Whenever you go, your face begins to shine. Pray for that favor. Pray for that favor. Pray for that. Countenance that attract favor. Musha Dubai Amandelebe Kaba. Randa la bakeba ba ara banda la bakeba je branda la bakeba reka duya andele bakeba reka zodebe ya to saya mandele bakeba ba ara ba moka zodebe antole bakeba reka zoda ba ya reka bobo ra bandele bakeba je branda le bakeba moka duya randele bakeba Jesus Lord and the ark continue in the house of Obedido and the ark continue I speak that the ark will continue in your house may the ark continue in your family receive the anointing of beauty and well favor may the act continue in your father's house may the act continue in your mother's house may the act continue in your business from today your presence your business may the presence at rest in your business may it rest in your home may it rest in your office may it deter and clear away evil spirit and demonic enviness in the name of jesus christ there is a way the presence protect and preserve you marco darabaya randelebe kabam in the name of jesus Amen. i speak life into you Amen. i speak that the blessings of the lord will be upon you Amen. and the act continue in the house of obedience and it generate the blessings and the favor from today blessings and favor will be your portion now honey you cannot survive in this wicked world without it it's not possible i was praying to the lord told me you are in a wicked time and generation the wickedness around you cannot the bible say we know we are of god and we know that the whole world lies in wickedness we are in a habitation of cruelty i declare that god will defend you now listen to me we are going to pray something i call it hmm. <laughs> uh, this one is a medical it's a, it's a legal term okay. restraining order My God. <laughs> today I was studying the Bible and the devil met Job according to Job chapter 1 and when he came he said have you considered my servant Job tomorrow we'll go he said there is no like him <laughs> and the devil told God that have you not make a hedge around him <laughs> then that situation that happened when the children of God presented themselves and Satan was also there God told me it was a court proceedings. So the way we have judicial system on earth, there is a judicial system in heaven. And when the devil takes your name, then he goes to accuse you. 
That is why he's called accuser of the brethren. Now, in the court, eh, it is the judge that calls the case. Yes, so when you study Job chapter 1, it is not the devil that it is God that God that starts speaking. Have you cons I was teaching one of my 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 one of the pastors who called me his son. I, I, I mean father, I was teaching him about that judicially system of heaven. Now watch this judiciary system of heaven so when the devil presented the case to god that day the one the devil took to court was job the bible said that kills of the brethren has been cast down so when you go because after michael fired him to the earth what does he go to heaven to go and do if you don't have any case in the courtroom you can't enter there what are you going to do there you can't wake up and just be going to court to go and listen so you must go there because you have a case so the way we are prosecutors, the devil is a prosecutor. My God. Hey, hey. He takes your case, but today by the voice of the blood, the the I'm going to show you something. Tomorrow, don't mix tomorrow for anything. Tomorrow, I'm going to take you to another dimension. When you get this revelation, you will stop the devil's attack on your life. Because if somebody file a case against you and you don't file a counter case, uh, once somebody file a case, you must defend yourself. If you don't defend yourself, the case can go against you. Even if you have the right to win the case, when the devil went to court. God, God called the case because God knows what is coming there for. He has already, and he said, have you considered my servant Job? There is nobody like him. He said, and the devil talked to Job and said, does Job fear you for nothing? Have you not make a hedge around him? Hedge. I have always prayed the Lord said, that hedge in the judiciary is a restraining order. It means that when Job was walking around, there is a restraining order from the devil not to touch him. So after the court proceeding, said, Job lost the case because there was something with the devil that was with Job. Hey. And Satan stood on that some evidence. What is that evidence? The thing which I greatly fear has come upon me. Ah. 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 Are you catching the revelation now? Yes. Tomorrow I'm going to take you to deeper dimensions of that one. If you don't defend yourself, Satan will destroy you. So he went there and make a case. So before he went to court, there was a restraining order. And the restraining order does not permit the devil to touch him. And that restraining order, Joe, the devil called it a hedge. Restra In America, if you beat your wife, eh, the police and the court can tell you within a certain perimeter, don't go there. If the people in America can agree with me, they will say that, don't cross this. It means that there is a restraining order on your life, not to get to a certain point. So there was a restraining order on the devil not to touch Joe now the reason why the devil the woman god lifted the restraining order she went to job's house today you are going to pray for a restraining order by the voice of the blood you have an advocate in heaven his name is jesus christ and jesus christ has already paid so every evidence he bring against you it is on jesus christ and there are two things sometimes eh, you your case may be bad but on the basis of mercy because they call favor um, they, they, they call grace what unmerited favor yes, sir. they call grace unmerited favor but mercy is unmerited advantage yes, mercy is unmerited advantage it means are you supposed to be punished but mercy say no yes, there is another seat in heaven it's called mercy seat Aya. when god sit on the mercy seat no matter your case god can reverse it Aya. today we are going to pray any satanic agenda on your life by the voice of the blood may the lord put a permanent injunction we are going to put an injunction and anything the devil has put an injunction your documentation everything we are going to command a restraining order from him to stay away from your blessing lift up your voice this prayer is very short because the next five minutes my time is up open your mouth and pray lord any calculation from the pit of hell any satanic orchestration against my life Marco Dibiato Saya Randelebe Kabam Rakadabaya Mandelebe Kabam Zubra, please share the message. It's not too late to share. Say it Marco Dabaya Rabandelebe Kabam Rika Zudebe Yato Saya Linda Lava Kabam Barabam Mokato Baya Mandelebe Kabam Zubranda Lava Kabam Raka Zudebe Yato Saya Rabandelebe Kabam Zubranda Lava Kabam Put it, Lord, let there be a restraining order. Let there be a restraining order. Anything I put an injunction, a permanent injunction on the devil over any attack is calculating anything from the pit of hell against your household, against your family. Let God put an injunction on him. The injunction on Job is that God told him, You may touch anything, but don't touch his life. Don't touch it. There was an injunction on the devil not to kill Job. 
other things that God didn't put an injunction. Job kill it. The devil kill it. He killed his children. He killed his property. He killed his animals. But Job himself, there was a there was an injunction. There was a restraining order not to touch Job. Today pray. Any calculation from the pit of hell. Take your counsel and it will not stand. Speak your word and it will come to know. Lord, I place by the voice of the blood, by the blood of Jesus. Prepare communion right now. Let the communion be ready right now. No shadow, but we are going to take the communion in a short second. My everybody must take this communion very serious. Because this communion, you say when I see the blood, so listen. In the name of Jesus. When God went to the land of Egypt and he said, put the blood on your lintel. Yes, sir. It was a restraining order. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. So the blood of Jesus is a restraining order to prevent the devil from touching us. Today by the blood. That is why if you are listening to me from Portes 98.7 FM or Spirit FM in Kumasi or Global FM Voter Reggae, go to Facebook. You need to see my face. You need to see my face for this demonstration. There is a reason. Now, watch this. When God finished the case, he told the devil that he is in your hand. But there was another restraining order. You can touch everything, but don't touch him. Now, the other things that God didn't say, the devil shouldn't touch. He touched it. He touched the children. He touched the animals. He touched all of them. Today, you are going to... That is why every day you must plead the blood. This is one of the carelessness of the body of Christ. Our, after tomorrow, we are going to engage the blood in prayer. It, you must not let the day, if you finish your devotion, if, if you forget to pray, you must cover your spirit, soul, body with the blood. If you don't put the blood as a covering, you give demons access into your life. You must constantly, you are sitting in a plane, plead the blood over the plane. Plead the blood over the aircraft. You move your car, plead the blood. Because when I see the blood, I will pass over. If the blood is not there, they will come to your territory. Plead the blood. You are going to do a surgery, plead the blood. You are going to hospital. If you don't plead the blood on the lab report, it will bring you a report that you don't want to give. I'm talking to somebody here today. Today is the last day you'll be frustrated. Amen. I say today is the last day you'll be confused. Amen. Today is the last day you'll be frustrated. Jesus. We take authority of every Amen. satanic voice. There is a lady listening to me now, Joanna. There is a voice speaking to you and sometimes I tell you to commit suicide. I rebuke that voice in the name of Jesus. Anybody under the sound of my voice with suicidal thoughts, it's not from God, it's a demonic spirit. I take authority by the authority invested in me by Jesus Christ based on the callings of God from the true room perspective. I rebuke every suicidal thought and I free your mind from that demon. Shake yourself, that spirit is gone now. In the name of Jesus Christ, Marco DB Atosaya, restraining order to Christ say, Father, I engage the blood of Jesus. Over my property, I plead the blood over my family, over my office, over my car, over my property, and I declare the devil cannot come near over anything that belongs to me. Lift your voice and engage the blood, plead the blood, cover the church auditorium with the blood. We speak the blood covering, may the blood go ahead of us before all of us gather in the camp. May the blood be there. Marco Dabaya. Don't sleep in a hotel room without pleading the blood. Don't be spiritually careless. Share the message and connect somebody online. Raka Zodebe Yatosaya. Rabandelebe Kabam. Moka Dobaya. Raka Debaya. Rabandelebe Kabam. Lesa Zosaya Kakaya. Randelebe Kababa Rabam. Marco Dabaya. Rabandelebe Kabam. Zubrandelebe Kababa Rabandelebe Kabam. Zubrandelebe Kabam. Raka Dabaya. Raka Zadabaya. Moka Dubaya. The blood. The blood. We put a restraining order. We put an injunction, a permanent injunction over every orchestration and attack of the devil over your life. We place a divine injunction over him. We forbid him from coming around your children. Anything he has put on your documentation, we command his hand to be lifted. Take your hands off people's documentation. Take your hands off their finance. Take your hands off their property. Take your hands off their children. Take your hands off their child. Take your hands off their husband. Take your hands off their wife. I command the enemy to take his hand off. What I bind on earth is bound in heaven. What I, hey, listen, you will carry that pregnancy to nine months. I do, I forbid 
the name is Courage what right now. That? There is a lady watching me. You are pregnant for about, I think it's about three months and you are bleeding. I take authority over that thing. I declare that there shall nothing cast the iron or be buried. I declare that miscarriage will not be in our vocabulary. No potential will miscarry the child. I rebuke it in the name of Jesus. You shall serve the Lord your God. You will bless your blood and your water. She will take sickness away from the midst of you. Nothing shall cast the iron. Nothing shall cast the iron. Therefore, I declare any satanic agent that is causing miscarriage and delays in childbirth, may the Lord put a permanent injunction on that demon by the voice of the blood lift your voice and pray that prayer for one minute we release the fruit of the womb we command your womb to be open we speak life into your womb may your may your womb receive your husband's seed may your womb receive your husband's feet in johnson you will not be demoted from the office they will not sack you from the office all those who have conspired against you the lord will disgrace them in the name of jesus there is a lady watching me that is an orchestration against you in the office your name is called lena now listen to me god is going to disgrace those people Amen. he's going to disgrace them immediately i'm telling you one of my sons he works as a pharmacy here and then there was a woman the, the woman told her that as far as i'm here you will never be happy he threatened the girl in seven days he died i'm not the one the guy told me you don't threaten a child of god you don't threaten somebody who carry the presence of God. You don't threaten light. In the kingdom of darkness, light is the master. Don't threaten. You must know the authority you carry. All those who are troubling you, God will disgrace them in the name of Jesus Christ. Now, because you don't deserve that. You don't deserve that. Today, you are going to engage in the blood. The blood, the blood, the blood, the blood, the blood. Mommy, thank you for the blood. Thank you, the blood, the blood. Moshadi kataya. Reka zudebe yatokaya. Mandele mekaba. Now take your communion right now. This is the bread and this is the body. I'm telling you, this bread, it looks like the one Jesus used for the last supper. It's a very cute bread. This one. Take it. Take the bread and hold it in your hand. I said that when that revelation, God gave it to me in the play. I was in 40,000 feet above sea level. And the Lord said, Go to the book of Job. I want to show you something. And God gave me the message. Do you remember Joshua the high priest? was standing there and the devil put a filthy rag around him and the judiciary called god said that and he started accusing him and because michael is not a judge david said michael said the lord rebuke you michael couldn't rebuke the devil he couldn't anybody can file a case against you you have to you have responsibility to defend yourself many years ago when we bought a property eh, and somebody did something and went for something and took the property I'm telling you, if we didn't fight, would you have gotten it back? Yes, sir. Let's see. In the kingdom, quitters never win. <laughs> and if you want to win, don't quit. You must fight. Because the reason why I like the fighting is that before you go to the boxing ring, God has already declared you more than a conqueror. Yes, sir. So you have not started a battle, but you are declared a winner. Amen. So if you stay at home and they beat you, then it's your fault. <laughs> hey, that woman will not take your husband from Amen. you. There is a lady and your husband doesn't come home. I'm going to pray a prayer if you believe it or work. I put a meeting between your husband and his girlfriend. From today, let there be permanent confusion. And your husband will come back home. What God has joined together, let no devil put it asunder. Libra sota kapasaya. Mazune me yatuke. Zudibi yatosaya. No, let it come. Makoda baya. Randele me kataya. Mazude be ya. Makado baya. Rakadabaya. Are you getting what I'm talking about? Yes, so God gave me that message in the play. That when the devil came there, the Bible says, and the children of God presented themselves. And Satan was also there. What did he come to do? He came to call to accuse people. So the Bible said, the accuser of the brethren has been cast down on earth. So anytime you go to court, that is why God doesn't want us to live in sin. If you are here now, boy, Jeremiah, stop it. Stop those things you are doing. The devil will go and accuse you for nothing. Stop fighting with your wife. Stop fighting with your husband. Stop the confusing at home. So that you don't give the devil access for confusing and go to accuse you. Because sometimes eh, we created and give him advantage over us. Huh? Sure. There is a scripture in the book of Ephesians. Huh? Let me Ephesians chapter 4. I was in a plain study and then um, the Lord showed me something about that scripture about anger. The Lord showed me something. In Ephesians chapter 4, verse 26, it says, Be angry and sin not. That is the King James. Be angry and sin not. 
Ephesians chapter 4, verse number 26. Be angry and sin not. It means anger is not a sin. Because God gets angry. By your actions after you get angry, it is what make you sin. But look at the way the New Living Translation. He said the devil can put his... He said, don't give the devil a foothold over you. He said, and don't sin by letting anger control you. Don't let the sun go down on your, down while you are still angry. Ah, verse 27. Huh. Verse 27, go there. No, 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 go. Ah, huh? for anger gives a foothold of the devil. It means also which is a quarter. Hmm? He grabbed you like this. Foothold. It means that ordinance says when you act. A foothold. Yes. A foothold over there. When I went to, I went to, uh, on my birthday, I went to a prison to go and bless the people there. I was talking to the commander. He said that majority of the case there is domestic violence. Yes, sir. Young, young people yes, beat, sir. also be born in here, you know, I could have said some most of them or see and the most of the cases were between the age of 18 to 20 mm -hmm. 19 to 22 or then about they were the majority mm -hmm. i came face to face with them some of them are listening to me now mm -hmm. yeah they sent me a message that after i left immediately i left the president has pardoned some condemned prisoners and yeah. brought them wow. and released them from wow. condemned prison i'll show you the message wow. Of wow. he said papa since you left here something is happening wow. here. Some of the condemned prisoners, they've just pardoned them. Jesus. Miraculously. Mm. Today you are going to use the blood. The blood. Yes. A, restraining a restraining order. When you finish and you are at home, eh, go there and sprinkle the blood in your house. Me a hammer because sprinkle baby to me. Come in your sprinkle, say, Baby, baby, see. Obi, 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 So me, somebody, one day I did it, somebody was sleeping in a place. Huh? So hotel who said that he's patching with a friend. She went to sprinkle the blood. The owner came and said, "What have you sprinkled here? Move now." The the person was at the top, but when he sprinkled the activation, and when he activated the spirits, and they they hit his altar, he he responded. Somebody went to his altar and pour an oil under a tree, and three snake came out. He killed the snake. His uncle called from another region and said, "Who asked you to kill them?" And he ran to me, Papa. Oh, now, mommy, all you know, Makuku. The uncle threatened him. He killed the snake in uh, 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 Osino. The uncle was in voter rage and called immediately and said, who told you to kill the snake? I have seen that you have killed the snake. Mm. Today, any satanic snake in your family, yeah. as you sprinkle the blood and you take the communion, they will vanish out of your house. Yeah. You see, the presence out of your house is what's making the children shout and they are not sleeping and they are screaming. Today, sprinkle the blood. Sprinkle the blood. And the blood will put a restraining order and on the devil from coming to your home. Now, listen to this one. I want to show you something. I call this communion, eh? I call it <laughs> the, uh, uh, drinking the cup of blessing. 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 16. Are you holding a cup? Yeah. It's called a cup of blessing. Drinking the cup of blessing. Don't forget we are praying about blessings and favor. And now listen. After the communion, I want you to sow a seed. Last time we engaged the seed of 12 government. Today we are engaging the seed of 8. New beginning. Amen. 8 people enter the ark of Noah. And that is it. The ark is a place of protection and defense. Mm. Huh? Okay, is listening to me. I'm sure you will know so. But yeah. the ark is in a protection and defense. I have a daughter here. I will, I will, I will show you a picture later. Now watch this. The ark. So 8,880. Sow some seed. This revelation came to me, said, pick the numbers. Twelve we saw is government, that is establishment. Twelve tribes of Israel, twelve apostles, twelve months in a year. So twelve is a governmental number. But eight is the number of new beginning. My God. So eight people enter the ark. And the eight started the whole human race again. Yes, so today after that seed, you, uh, there will be a new beginning on your finances. New beginning on every aspect. So even for your unborn children. So, now, the cup of blessing which we bless mm. is it not the communion of the blood of christ today by this cup of blessing we place a permanent injunction Amen. on any satanic activity on your house as you obey the voice of this prophet and sprinkling the blood in your home every satanic movement cease from Amen. now Amen. because when i see the blood i'll pass over Amen. 
I will pass over. Amen. I received from the Lord that which also I delivered unto the Lord Jesus. In the night in which he was betrayed, took bread. When he has given thanks, Father, we thank you for the bread. He broke it. And he said, this is my body. As I've broken it, anybody in obedience to what I've done. Listen, the Lord just spoke to me. He said, son, this communion of people that I obey, sickness will leave their body. Permanent. Every chronic disease is leaving your body now. In the same manner, I say the cup of blessing, the cup of blessing, which we bless. I lift up this communion cup as a cup of blessing. And I declare by the authority of the name that is above you, by this blood. This is the blood that was fell on the ground. There was an earthquake. This is the blood that fell in the tombs of men were open and the dead were raised. Today, everything dead around you was coming back to life. Somebody else will take this communion. Your kidney will be restored like a baby's kidney. Your liver, your everything, your fallopian tubes are going to be perfectly clean. Lord, we drink the cup of blessing Amen. today in obedience to your word. Amen. Bless everybody that is part of this and honor them. Yes, Lord. Honor the faith of anybody who in obedience has connected to this, this, this life. I speak life. life. And as they sow the seed of new beginning, new beginning. let there be a new beginning on their documentation. Amen. New beginning on their contract. Amen. New beginning. Ah. Okay. Somebody came from America. His brother was standing in primaries in MPP. Uh -huh. Election recently. He took a mantle. He came to beg me. Uh -huh. Now, my mantle in my bag is what I took and I gave it to the guy. Wow. Nobody expecting the guy to. I don't want to mention his name. The guy tied the mantle on his, on his hand uh -huh. during the primary and he won. Yes, sir. He moved somebody that nobody was expecting that he can move him. Uh -huh. I, when he came, the lady came to me and he said, Papa, this is a seed for you. I was going to give this seed for my brother for the the campaign, but the Lord told me to bring it to you. Wow. I won't mention the seed. Wow. <laughs> now listen to me very carefully. We are not joking. When I say things and you obey, this is a prophetic voice. Oh. This boy has been tested and proven. Huh? One day I was going to try. The Lord told me, "Say I cannot take you where you are until I test you." Mm. So God cannot anoint you at a certain level until you are tested. Even if you have, if you, if you. How, you think you have some sources and will not be a tosser. You cannot guarantee the sources. Mm. A young man who has started doing something, God is blessing me. Yesterday, he called me, told me, say, Papa, the Lord told me to pray, come for you to pray for me. Mm. And I said, why? Well, he said, the Lord said, go for my servant to pray for you so that you will last the way he has lasted. My God. My God. And he said, God told him, don't let the thing you are doing go into your head because you have, you have just started. Mm. And he said, these people, they've lasted. Lasting they've gone through things and they've stood and they are still relevant i declare you will last Amen. it is not how you start though it is how you finish Jesus. no you need you need we are going to pray now on thursday we are going to pray what i call the finishing anointing Amen. it is anointing that make you die in a good old age Amen. it's anointing that make you sow that seed of new begin and put yourself in the ark so lord as eight souls were in the ark as i saw this it's a new begin number two protect me in the ark let me stay in the ark if you are not in the ark you will drown if you are not in the ark you cannot it's only the ark that rises above the economic system everything was drowned by the water the ark floated above the water so when this seed will cause you to rise above the economic system of your country i said you will pay the mortgage before the time god is supernaturally going to give you provision you will pay you're supposed to pay the mortgage for 10 years you pay it after three four years you pay for it father bless this communion and everybody holding the blood in the body and when they take it let something happen to them in jesus name amen Anna, pass the bread up. you have um, okay wait <coughs> wake your children up give them the communion give it to your husband give it to there is a family watching me from north carolina and south carolina take the communion give it to all the children thank you lord thank you lord thank you lord new beginning seed must show that if you don't have it go online just show it hallelujah I'm going to lift up money and hold it in my hand to pray for you as a contact. God is going to visit somebody in a very special way. Make sure it's eight. Eight dollars equivalent, eight pounds equivalent, eight euros, eight whatever, eighty, um, eighty, eight thousand, eight hundred. So as God has blessed. Some of you saw eight hundred dollars is not nothing. God has blessed you 
This is not the way you started, oh, but God has blessed you. I hold a seed in my hand as a point of contact to pray for somebody. And I declare in the name of Jesus Christ, I speak. That Father, anybody holding a seed in his hand, with this seed I'm holding, Lord, let them walk in the new beginning of their financial blessing. Amen. And I pray that the hand of the Lord will rest upon them. Amen. May God favor them. Amen. And may God honor them. Amen. Lord, every man of God sowing this seed, Jesus. I pray that you make a way for their ministry. Amen. Something awesome is going to happen to them. I bless you. I bless you. God bless you. I love you. Please stay blessed. Stay in prayer. And make sure you are lifting the come meeting in prayer. Let Amen. it be from now. Let it be your prayer point. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name. I love you. Stay blessed. Please, Amen. as you sow your seed, may you see fruit. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. That I hear the of the abundance of prosperity and that is a revival is about to break forth. Hey, territories are about to be taken. New territories are about to be taken. God is going to demonstrate you like a trophy. There shall be a performance. Namaste Pokusakode Ministries presents Special UK Easter Camp Meeting and Invasion Crossing the Line 2024 Theme and the Lord Appear Again Fair Summer 321 The date is March 28th to 31st 2024 It's happening at the Oasis House 5 to 9 Pew Road, Croydon Your speaker is God's servant Namaste Pokusakode Come join us for this wonderful outpouring. 2024, our year of positive surprises and flourishing. For the first time ever, God's servant is invading the European Union for all Poterians worldwide and in the Schengen zone especially. Embark on a prophetic journey with God's servant Nanasei Opokusa Kwadie. Join us at the Crown Plaza Hotel for the EU Prophetic Conference, experience divine revelations and spiritual insights at this powerful event. It's happening on April 4th to the 7th, 2024. For rooming and reservations, note the following available hotels and room rates as shown on the screen. Crown Plaza Hotel. It's on the 75 to 77 Avenue Louis Kasai, 1216 Geneva, Switzerland. For special discounts, Please use gvacp.groupevents at ihg.com to book for your rooms for a single occupancy for a night. Mention Gospel Event. There are other hotels available nearby to the Crown Plaza Hotel. Nash Airport Hotel. It's a walking distance from Crown Plaza Hotel, which is a conference venue. Discounted packages are available for two people for three nights, breakfast included. Contact details are as shown on the screen. Ipis Budget Geneva Airport Hotel is also a walking distance from the Crown Plaza Hotel. Reach out to guest reservations for packages for three people in a room and double occupancy at the rates shown on the screen. Breakfast is included. And finally, Nash Suites Airport Hotel is also a walking distance from the Crown Plaza Hotel. The details are as shown on the screen. Thank you for being a part of this broadcast. If you were blessed by this broadcast and would want to sow your seed for more blessings from God, kindly send your seeds to the following numbers. 0593-745874 Alternatively, 0244-715727 or 0244-710083 Nest Zero five five eight six nine zero two eight seven and finally zero five four four seven three nine eight three five. Thank you for joining the family prayer time. I walk closer now on the highway to the darkest night. Jesus